country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today <laughs> i hope all is well with everyone and thank you so so much for coming back by to see what i'm up to and what i'm up to today is obviously i'm dodging <laughs> the sunlight blooper blooper to start this one out <laughs> anyway let me sit over here real quick and just talk with you for just a second and let you know that i am as you all know but from the last video i'm now in the living room and this is the last room that I will be decorating with the blue and white cottage decor. So I'm fixing to do one of three videos today, three separate videos. So you'll see me dressed like this <laughs> in the next three videos. And these three videos will finish up my blue and white cottage decor, uh, decor series. And uh, after the last one goes up, which will be a table that's sitting in my uh, bay window uh, that I'll tell you about then, it's an old new table, if that makes sense. And uh, after that video goes up, then it'll be my home tour. My home tour will go up. I will give you one home tour of this, this whole decor series. So like I said, three more videos uh, and then my home tour. And then that'll do it for this decor series. Oh my goodness, it has been so much fun working on this. And I love this room, you guys. This room is one of my favorite rooms in the house. Uh, it's always light. Obviously, it's really bright today. <laughs> but it's always light and it's always, you know, soft and pretty in here. And I do come in here a good bit to read my comments, to try to comment back when I can, to edit. Uh, to just sit if I want a serene moment. You know, there's no TV in here. It's just a, a sweet, sweet room with comfortable furniture. Speaking of furniture, and I'm gonna get this camera off of my face now so y'all don't have to see me dodging the sunlight that's coming in the, the transom window here out of my in my foyer. It's very sunny today, can you tell? <laughs> but I am gonna be working here on my uh, secretary. Now, I can't turn on the lights right at this moment in the secretary because Chris is actually working with our breaker system and he's putting, we have a whole house generator and he's actually, uh, I can't even hardly explain what he's doing or I really don't know how to explain it other than to say that he's uh, adding a few more things to the breaker box that goes with the generator. In other, in other words, when the, uh, sorry about that, I just had a thing pop up. In other words, when the, hang on, I'm gonna be right back in just a second. I need to put my phone on airplane mode. Hang on one second because he's working on this and, and I'm getting pop-ups. So hang on one second, I'll be right back, sorry. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That should stop all my pop-ups and me getting distracted. But anyway, he's trying to add a few more things to the breaker box so when the generator comes on, certain, uh, like for instance, this wall in our family room, we always have to run an extension cord across to the to the uh, reclining chair and turn and, uh, for lights and stuff. Anyway, he's, he's fixing a couple of things like that. So he's got all the electricity in the house off uh, today and he's working on that. So I can't show you the lights right now that I have in my secretary, which is what I'm going to be working on. So let me turn you here. I'm going to be working on this bottom portion, oh, sorry, of the secretary today. I style this secretary with the door open. Let me show you. If I have a place to put all this stuff. use any dust bunnies that you see especially with the sun shining brightly on this this is what it looks like closed this was my grandmother's secretary y'all and it is old and worn out and I have thought about you know seeing if we could restain it or paint it or chalk paint it or something like that but I've decided I'm not going to touch it and that I like the color of it and it goes with the rest of the furniture in the dining room 
and I, I really like it as is. Now, as you can see, I, re, I styled the inside of it, uh, and I've changed it around a little bit during the year, but I haven't done too, too much with it, and I'm not gonna touch anything inside of this today. I really am happy with how everything looks in there. I got the birds. It also lights up, and I'll show you that later whenever I can turn the electricity, or whenever Chris turns the electricity back on. I wanted so. to cut up the tails on this bow up here that I've got up here. My goodness, it's bright in here, huh? <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to get the, fix this a little bit. I had made this for something else, and I'm going to use it right here this time. And I did not just make this bow. I just want to cut up the tails a little bit. There we go. And also up on top here, this is a picture of my mom on her wedding day. And that is a candy dish that was my grandmother's. And I've told this story a zillion times, but I'll tell it one more time. And uh, that candy dish is infamous. Let me get up there so y'all can see it. <laughs> my mom, my grandparents had a boxer dog named Kim. And that dog was pretty amazing. And my grandmother used to tell stories about how she would, you know, steal things. She was quite the little con artist and little, little thief. And she loved candy, apparently. That uh, Kim loved candy. And what she did with that candy dish is she, they had a long staircase that they would come down in their house. And she came down the steps really quick one day. My grandmother watched her do it, apparently came down the steps, took the lid off of the candy dish, gobbled up before my grandmother could get back to her, gobbled up all of the candy that she had in the candy dish, lived to tell the tale, thank the good Lord, but didn't break a thing. <laughs> so that candy dish is still intact and still perfectly fine, even after Kim decided she was going to take the lid off of it and eat all the candy out of it. But that was a funny story. And to hear my grandmother tell it, that was really cute to hear her tell it. The two bears up there, I chalk painted. They used to be a dark brown, and I chalk painted them. Yes, me, I chalk painted them. <laughs> and they're just gonna stay right up there. So that's that's how I did the top. This is just a greenery garland here. And uh, just with the two swags coming down either side. And I'm gonna leave that as is. I put it back up. I had something else up here for Christmas, so I put it back up. Excuse all the dust that is showing up with the sunlight. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to move down here to the top of the secretary now. I'm using another one of my placemats that I got for Christmas, and I will give you a link if there are any available on Amazon. Uh, either Candace and Dustin or Kristen got me a set of four of these for Christmas, and they are going to be seen throughout this room. So I just love them. So let's see, what else do I have here? I've got this little um, tray. I got this tray from the Minuteman Mini. I haven't purchased anything for this for this whole vignette here. So just to let you know that, I um, had all this last fall or last summer. So there's, there's nothing new here that I purchased. I'm just remaking everything. But this is such a pretty little tray. It's not made that I can tell from anybody. Uh, but I found it over there and it was $8.00 from the Minuteman Mini Mall in Culpeper, Virginia. And I love it, I love it. It brings in the whole feel of the blue and the white, pairs beautifully with this uh, placemat. Now I'll put it out here right now. I'm gonna try to do a very uh, simple arrangement in here because I, I would like to be able to see this detail inside of this little tray. So I'm going to start with just a, a little base on this side, and I have just a, a little tuft of ivy and some blue berries. 
I just want to put in here. And then I have, where did the little blue bird go? Oh, here he is. I have a little blue, blue bird that I'd like to sit out in front, just like that. And I have a blue hydrangea here that I think I'm just gonna stick kind of right back here and snug it back in the corner. And I'm gonna leave this front uh, open. I'm not gonna do anything in that front. And then that front corner. And then I'm just gonna snug it right back like that in that corner. Just like that. And that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Very simple, very easy. Now I have another one of my melamine plates. I got these from And That, again, last spring, summer, sometime in there, but it really goes well with my blue and white decor. And then I've got a, a just a plate stand or picture holder. Got it from uh, Tuesday morning, a long time ago though. I'm just gonna set the plate up here, right there in that corner. And then I have this little candle holder. Again, I got this from the Minuteman Mini Mall. Again, it's nothing Andrea by, oh, I don't have my glasses on. Lytic, Saldic, something like that. Uh, and then I got these these candles I got from an Etsy shop, they smell, they're supposed to smell like blueberries. They smell more like coconut to me though, but they're kind of the grungy looking candles. So I remembered I had them and I pulled them back out. I need to get me a, a glue dot or something in there to make that stand up a little better, but I'm gonna add that right in there, right there. And then I have this little cloche that I found, I don't remember where I got this. It's, uh, it's I've had it for a while, but I have a little cloche, just a little one, a little glass cloche. And I have one more of these little little spheres left. That, is this one of the ones, I think this is one of the ones that Danielle got me from Cracker Barrel, she sent them to me. So I think I just wanna see, actually I've tried it, I know it fits. I want this little ball right in that little cloche, just like that, isn't that cute? And I'm gonna set this kind of right there. And I have a couple of more hydrangeas that I could just, you know, doesn't have to be anything over the top, but just a little something to add, you know, a little blue in. And the only other thing I have is expect nothing and appreciate everything, which I think is an important little saying, you know? So I thought I would put it somewhere here. Just kind of let it sit right here. And that's it, y'all. I'm not gonna do anything in here. I'm, I want it simple, I want it clean, and I think this is lovely, just like this. So that's all I think I'm gonna do. I only have one more little hydrangea left. And I really don't wanna put it anywhere. I'll find someplace else to put it. But that's it for this. You know what? I think I might add, I have a coffee table, little coffee table arrangement. I'll move over here and we'll do that one too. So here we go. This, again, I'm using some of those grungy candles. Excuse my, my uh, chairs over there that I have sitting up that I just worked with that stuff over there. But I'm trying to clean off this table so you can see it. Again, this was my grandmother's table. One that I cherish very much, a little story about this, my dad, <laughs> the, the top lifts off of this, see that? The glass top lifts off, and that placemat is actually underneath the glass. But my dad used to use this table to wrap all of, of our Christmas gifts. <laughs> I don't know how he did, and he was sitting in here, actually we were sitting in here at Christmas talking, and he said, you know what, Arlen, how did I do that? It didn't matter the size of the package, I wrapped it on this little table. I said, I know, Dad, I watched you do it. <laughs> <laughs> for years and years and years, you know, he wrapped every present on this little table. He loves to wrap presents. That's one of his favorite things to do, but he loved using this little table. And I said, well, you can't have it back. <laughs> he said, no, I don't want it anyway. <laughs> he was funny. So uh, this is one of my very favorite pieces in the house, of course, and very, a lot of memories go with this 
this little table. This is the table that the cookie jar was sitting on top of when Kim took the lid off of it, <laughs> you know. And I think my grandma would be shining down, her, you know, smiling down on me and my mom too, knowing that I'm, I'm utilizing her table. Again, I don't want to redo it or refurbish it. I think it looks fine. It is beaten up a little bit, but that just adds to the character, you know. So I'm going to leave it as is. So that's a little story about the table. And then I'm going to utilize my mom's silver tray. This is a tray that apparently they used at their reception, uh, their wedding reception. My mom and dad were married 52, I think, years at the time of her passing. And, uh, you know, back then they sure did things up nice. And actually my mom and dad, uh, grew up right down the street from one another and knew each other their whole lives but didn't date until after they graduated from college and they lived in the same town and uh anyway they gave my grandmother about a month to plan their wedding <laughs> nine months. And well chris and i only knew each other nine months from the day that we met till the day we got married and here we are 30, almost 38 years later, you know. So anyway, I'm going to do a little vignette on this tray. It's going to be very simple again, very simple and streamlined for me. You know, uh, I tend to over decorate sometimes and I, I realize that I, I do that. <laughs> but that's just who I am. Uh, but I do try, I have tried to update my, my decor, you know. And uh, so anyway, here we go. Let's go. I have this little white lantern. I don't remember where I got it, you guys. I think this might have been like an and that or the Christmas tree. No, I'm been Hobby Lobby. There we go. Hobby Lobby. For $24. $24.99. I guarantee you I did not pay $24.99 for that. I guarantee you that was 50% off. But anyway, I'm going to put just put a very simple blue candle in here. I'm not gonna put anything around the candle and I'm not gonna tie a bow or anything on the top. I'm just gonna have this very simple blue candle in there, that's it. And there went Chris. <laughs> and let's see, what else do I want here? I bought these two little uh, candlesticks Add, again, the, the Culpepper Mini, Minute Man Mini Mall. And aren't they cute? They're just as cute as a button. And then these are two or more, two more of those grungy candles. And I really need to... I know you all told me about this putty that I can get. So I just want to flank the lantern, I think, on either side like that. And then I have this little teacup that I got from And That as well. And I found this, this little candle or little greenery ring that I had already made. So I thought it would be cute just to add a little bit of greenery to this, was to just snug this candle. Just like that. And I want to kind of move it back like that. And then I just want to, you know, fix this, whatever this business is going on inside of this cup. <laughs> this was packed away in a now let's start this over again huh <laughs> I am not sure what I was trying to do with that but we're gonna redo it a little rose one in the back how about and oh, let's see, I've got some more blueberries over here. I might lay the blueberries out like this. I do have a bird. Where's my bird? I do want to put a bird. Kind of just like that. And some lighter blues. Like that. Let's do blueberries. That's it, y'all. I think that'll be plenty. I think that looks super pretty. All right. So that, my friends, 
I've got a little bit of a darker, like, <laughs> darker blue here, just to bring in the kind of the darker, more cobalty blue. There, that looks pretty. You know, there are times when I'm very too, just too picky. I should just leave well enough alone. There we go. I like that. All right. That, my friends, is that. That's super cute. So that does it for these two little vignettes here. I, as again, I, I love working in this room. This room just makes me feel good. This room just puts me in a, in a good mood whenever I come into it. It's soft. It's pretty. It's, you know, just really cottagey feeling. You know, really cottagey feeling. So that's it for this one. So I've got, like I said, I've got two more videos now. Uh, next, I'm gonna be working on this. I have a bike that's sitting here in an end table. And then I'm gonna be working on one more, kind of a bit of a surprise that uh, I'll tell you about when we get there. And then after that video will be my home tour. So let me just say that, you know, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me take a minute in this one to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Uh, my subscriber count keeps going up and I appreciate every single one of you. I thank you so much uh, for hitting that subscribe button. And if you haven't yet, do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do hit it, please hit the bell. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. I don't usually ask for subscribers or mention it, but I do want to acknowledge that I've been seeing that sub account go up and I appreciate it. It goes up st steady, st slow and steady. So slow and steady, you know, and, and I love to see it kind of tick up like that. It's, it, it makes me feel good. The reason I'm doing this channel is, is because I felt like I was led to do it, honestly, uh, after Liz, my friend Liz, uh, who passed away of ALS, you know, kind of gave me a tap on the shoulder and said, you should try this. And, you know, I know that I'm nobody special. I'm nobody special. I know that. But I do know that I am where I'm supposed to be at this moment in time in my life. And I appreciate every single one of you who's hit that subscribe button. Uh, the newest to the newest, uh, back to the very first one and everybody in between. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, these words, if you've not heard my final words before, these are words that I felt like I could, uh, one day I was just sitting here talking and, and ending a video and I, all of a sudden I felt like I could read these words on a chalkboard kind of in front of me. And I know some of you are kind of going like, what? What are you talking about? But in my mind, they were given to me you know, from, from above. And I say them every time now. So I never mean to insult anybody or to hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that when I say these, but I just want to say that if there are those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.